Hello YouTubers, Scott here. Welcome back to Van Dingo. Today we're gonna install some side steps into the Sprinter because my wife struggles a little bit in jumping into this tall van. So I got a product here that we're gonna show you all how to install it. So here we go. These are the car side steps. They're aluminum, they come with these uh, stainless steel brackets. I've already installed those a uh, couple of bolts for each um, Directions are pretty clear and I know already based on when I put them up to the van to see both the angle and the fit That I'm going to be using these smaller size spacers for my application These work on ProMasters and on Ford Transits is my understanding and so there's some sheet metal screws for the top part of the bracket and these longer bolts um, that go into the bottom part of the bracket and come through the pinch weld at the bottom of the, the unibody on the Sprinter. So I'm going to move the camera up under there and you can see how these bolt on. So the directions say the step, the hoop step, should be about the center of the step lined with the front of the seat. So I'm just sort of sitting it on the ground and getting it about right before I set it up in there and start marking the mounting holes. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but yeah, I think so. This comes up under here and then again, I'm going to line it with the front of the seat and then get up in there and show you the rest. Let's see what the distance is because this bottom nut is the one that goes through the pinch welds and that looks like eight eight three eighths so eight and three eighths up here is where i'm going to make my mark the drill through of the pinch weld for the bottom part of the hanger See a bit of an issue here. I'm already bumping up against. Let's see if I can get some. All right, second one. Okay, so the eighth inch, one eighth inch holes are done. Directions say to go to five sixteenths to widen them out so you can get your bolt in there. That's what we're gonna do next. So I won't lie, it's always a little nerve wracking to drill into sheet metal. And I see that I've got that one up just a little higher than this one. And there are sheet metal shavings all over the ground here. And that causes rust and all kinds of issues. So I'm gonna get those off the ground and then I'm position this and hopefully adjust it appropriately. And we're gonna make that work. So two hours later, a uh, trip to Lowe's to get some new sheet metal screws because I stripped the heads off of two of them as I screwed them into the sheet metal of the Sprinter underneath on the backside. This is uh, not as smooth an operation as I expected it to be. Anyway, it's on. I, I got a lot of experience. I'm going to do the pasture side tomorrow. Um, and, you know, live and learn. We can talk more tomorrow. Okay, gang. Remember when I said that these uh, bolt heads sheared off? I was having some challenges for sure. So ended up putting more than one in. So there's a sheared off head right here. And right here is the was the number two bolt I put in. This one I had success with, so no issues. But then, let's see if I can show you here on this side. Yeah.
Okay, so this is almost a duplicate on the right side of that car step. I was uh, able to get the one bolt in, and on the left side, over here, that bolt sheared off, and I ended up having to go to the hardware store and get another one and put it in. So those bolts were really soft, challenging, in terms of the torque required, even with the pre-drill, and then, you know, tightening them down to hold the weight that you would expect these steps to hold. So a little, little bit of a challenge, as I said. Bottom line, I was able to get them in, tightened. I'm happy with them. They do handle the weight just fine, and, uh, and they work. Okay, and why you can see, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can. They do torque a little bit, but that pinch weld um, that's there and the spacers remain tight. And so we'll see over time. I bet I'm gonna end up having to, um, uh, to tighten those up, but I think it's gonna work great. Here's sort of a profile look so you can see kind of where it sets with the mud flap in the rear tire. So it looks good. Hanging on to those pinch welds. So I'm pleased with it. Um, reasonable investment. I'll go back and take a look off of e-trailer. I think it was, you know, with shipping, it was under 120 bucks. I'll take a look just to confirm. And uh, have used it several days now. You know, I've got a different shirt hat on got my relax hat on um, and uh, as I said it's a good product I'm happy with it I'll, I'll definitely have to check the bolts for uh, making sure they're tight and uh, and we'll see how it works over time thanks everybody be good so I keep forgetting to do this brand new to YouTube this is video number two um, installing those uh, car hoop steps and uh, windows are coming next. So if you like what you're seeing, please come join me in this effort. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. If you got any comments, ship them my way. Uh, lots and lots to come. So thank you for uh, checking in. Take it easy and be good. Bye-bye.